Hey guys, Silence Seal here. Welcome back to another Utame Cross Gacha video with me. This time now, we've got a bit of a very unique situation. And, well, if you're wondering why I did not do a video for Basara's Gacha, let's talk about it and you can probably see why I skipped it. <laughs> so let's dive into the Gacha page. Let's take a look at Basara's episode plate first. Alright, here we go. And tap. Alright, so we are on the second page. Let's just go through everything very quickly. Now, strangely enough, Dana has decided to go backwards with the episode plates that are brand new right now. So, looking at it, 3755 total score. I mean, this looks like the stats of a first generation episode play. The focus stat is 1934, which is good to be honest. It's pretty high considering that it's a focus stat. You know, and soul and voice, you know, uh, it's low like you would see on the older episode play. So I wouldn't consider this a fantastic episode play even though it does come with brand new costume points for Basara. It's a very lovely episode played with lovely illustrations, but in terms of usefulness, I wouldn't consider it anywhere close to useful, considering now that we have 7 star episode played. So center skill, yes, even though it has the 90% boost units, charm is boosted by 90% up, it has a fantastic center skill, the best we've ever seen and you know but overall it's just kind of disappointing in terms of stats so let's move on to the second page active skill for five seconds you got that 70 percent boost in score so with that said a lot of episode plates nowadays come with the active skill for high score purposes but at a lower percentage and a lower duration time um, you can definitely tell this is meant to be used for uh, live skill support. So here we go, we have that brand new skill, score repeat improvement. Um, once again, this kind of episode plate is not a critical plate, it's more of a support that helps another episode plate that already has the score repeat skill. So alone by itself, it's actually useless. <laughs> so, like I said in any of the other videos that actually have an episode plate like this, if you already don't have one like this, go for it. I mean, after all, the unlocking of the costume takes the top priority rather than attaining the episode plate itself. But if you're a Basara fan, definitely go for the illustrations aside from the costume unlocking. You know, I, I kind of like this episode plate's illustrations a lot because the parrot on Basara's shoulder is Bifida's. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher the name but yeah that's how I, I've always called her so <laughs> um, very cute episode plate Im image so let's move on to the last page we kind of skimmed through it earlier so we know that this plate doesn't come with any special notes attached to it so is this episode plate actually needed? No it's not because Basara's costume can be unlocked um, through the event plates that is currently going on. So the one that's really important is Kaname because her costume is only unlockable through this gacha. So that's the main reason why I skipped Basara's gacha because there's really no reason for me to pull it and I was kind of low on singing stones as you can tell at the top. <laughs> I only have enough for one of the two. So why not go for Kaname which is the most important one. Plus Kaname surprisingly came with a new life skill that we've never seen before. So yes, hopefully you guys came into this video after looking at the title of this video. You definitely know that Kanamama this time round takes the cake <laughs> above all. So let's talk about Kaname Buccaneer. <laughs> yes, there was a pun 
in the commercial for her new costume. So, you know, we're playing around with her family name, as you can tell. <laughs> or, even the episode plate's name just plays around with that pun. Okay, so, same like Bassa. This episode plate looks ridiculously horrible in terms of stats because it's exactly like I said. Uh, it feels like an older episode plate from when Uta Macross just started. So, center skill units total is boosted by 30% up, even though it has a lower percentage in terms of center skill compared to Basara. You know, at least the other skills might have something interesting, right? Um, in my opinion, after looking at it carefully, I don't think so. Because I don't know whether it's a tax issue or maybe Dana inputted the information wrongly or something, but it feels really off. So let me explain. Let's go to the second page. Active skill. For 15 seconds, you will have an easier time tapping notes, which is fantastic to be honest. Um, not as good as Basara's high score achievement play. You know, 70% is still better than this, especially considering that Angel Voice is a uh, extreme level 22 difficulty song you, you don't really have to be that fantastic you know to clear it it's it's a very easy song there are some tricky parts but still it is nothing that a little practice can get you through so so far Kaname is actually losing the race in terms of usefulness for episode plate wise if Basara is taking the cake <laughs> but the life skill here on Kaname is brand new. So what is the name of this life skill? It says Mode Score Up. How is it activated? Uh, let's tap this tiny triangle and pull it up. Mode Score Up. So during the activation of Cho Utahime Mode, you have to activate Cho Utahime Mode for this skill to take place. So, if you guys still don't know what Cho Utahime mode is, shame on you! <laughs> Go watch all my other tutorial videos talking about, you know, diva modes and all that kind of stuff. Valkyrie attack phases, yeah, blah blah blah. <laughs> so, here's the thing. At first, I thought I was reading it wrongly, but apparently it's really written down in the Japanese text here. So I'm going to read this carefully for you guys so you can understand the problem with this skill. Alright, so during the phase of Cho Utahime Mo from the beginning to the end of the song. So basically this skill only works for the second half of the life where after you go through the Valkyrie attack phase and you get Cho Utahime Mo to activate. If not, you know, the skill is basically a dot. It does nothing. It's, it's really a hit and a miss. So, what happens during Cho Utahi Mei Mo? If you tap the notes and you get greater or lower, as in like, you know, the, 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 the grading of your taps, they have like um, extreme, excellent, I don't know. Uh, I think it was excellent. Then you have perfect. Then after that you got great, then you've got your miss. So the thing is, it says here great or lower. So you have to do poorly tap notes to get that hundred and ten percent boost in score. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay, if we were to look at it, maybe they are saying that a perfect is 110% lower in terms of score when it's great or lower. Now, if this is what they are saying, it's basically saying that with this skill activated, everything that is of you know a great or lower tap, you are going to have the same score as tapping it as a perfect tap. So if that is what they are translating this skill to be. I think it's a pretty okay skill. 
but still pretty kind of pointless. I mean, 110% is definitely a lot better than maybe um, a 60% boost or even a 35% boost from life skills that actually activate uh, normally. So, what do you guys think about this brand new life skill? Is it actually worthwhile? For, for me personally, I feel like this life skill is just one on its own. You don't need two copies of the same life skill within your setup of Divas episode plates that you're going to use. You just need one of this. So, it's going to be exactly the same like um, the score repeat uh, improvement life skill. You just need one of it around and that's it. So, yeah guys, do you guys think that this might be, um, I don't know, an input error? Could it have been actually great or above? If it's great or above, this life skill is gonna rock. <laughs> Can you imagine your great, perfects and uh, excellent techs are going to get 110% boost in score? You can see people are going to end up with maybe close to 10 million <laughs> scores. It's ridiculous. But great and below, what are the chances are you going to actually fully utilize this life skill? I don't know. Maybe if you're going to use it on songs that you have really really having a hard time perfect full comboling um, especially for extreme songs that are maybe like difficulty 24, 25 you know that kind of thing so I can understand why you use this skill on a situation like that but aside from that if you're the kind of person who has been getting very good at playing Utan Bekeros this life skill seems a bit pointless so yeah anyway guys let me know your thoughts on this brand new life skill in the comments down below as always. And let's take a look. Yep. Just like Basara's episode play, it has no special notes attached to it. So aside from all of this brand new life skill situation, Kaname's ba uh, Buccaneer episode play is actually looking worse off than Basara's episode play. <laughs> I don't know. Personally, because Kaname's brand new life skill is very situational and overall I still think that it is not a much needed episode plate skill at all so <laughs> aside from unlocking the costume I would stay away from both gachas in general but you know I'm here just to Try and unlock Kaname's gut uh, costume. Sorry, not gacha. I mean, the gacha has already been unlocked, but <laughs> the costume is the main thing. So yes, we're gonna pull the template discounted pool, and that's it because that's all I can afford right now. <laughs> Gotta save for next month's seven star. I I wonder who it's gonna be though. Uh, we only have Binmei, Milane, and Basara left. So which of the three? <laughs> okay, so maybe might be Min Mei, considering that we actually did get um, some Macross 7 love this month. So who knows? Alright, so let's do this, guys. It's a very, very strange feeling for this Gacha episode. It's it's a lot of mixed feelings considering that the stats on the episode plates are a bit worrisome, and of course the skills attached to them. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, so we've got the average animation for some luck. One red box, three red boxes at the end. Oh. <laughs> that's just adorable. Okay, so it's an old episode plate, but that's okay. Anything with Ranka, I love. Alright, moving along. Just one plate that is brand new. Okay, this looks like it's new. Hopefully it is. Oh, okay, we got the guaranteed unlocking. I mean, well, 
it's, it's not getting the costume, but it gives us the chance to use episode orbs. So, okay, yeah, that Messer plate is definitely new. So we got some decent points on Kaname's costume. I probably can unlock it now. I've been um, trying to squeeze out as many large episode orbs I, as I can from my other costumes, you know, that have been lingering <laughs> behind. Alright, so let's do this. Let's try unlock Kaname's costume. As you can tell, I am in the setup where I have my, you know, lowest required costumes to gain the episode up. So here we go. Alright. Hopefully I don't have to toss too many large episode ops into unlocking this costume. Because it is definitely very painful whenever I have to do this. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, the the luck in the last three videos has been horrible, especially with, you know, Makina's um, seven star episode plate. Yeah, I still don't have her episode plate, so Makina's is definitely the only one that I currently don't own. So, hopefully, next month's seven star, the luck will reverse and we might pull something. I would like something other than Freya's 6 star episode plate though. <laughs> Considering that I have it as a plus 2 luck right now. You know, having having one each of each diva is pretty difficult right now. Considering that you can pull all the older 7 star episode plates out from the same gacha as the brand new 7 star. So, yeah, even though the percentage chance is lower for the older 7-star plates, it, just like my horrible luck, I always end up with the older ones. <laughs> so, it's it's still a very horrendous percentage, you know, even though it's like 0.1%, I think, um, for the brand new 7-star. And considering that the rest of the older 7 stars are like 0.05%, it's still horrible. The percentage is still ridiculous. So even if you can get any kind of uh, 6 star episode plate, um, it's still pretty awesome. You know, but it's nice if you can evenly spread them out. Like every single character, you obtain one of the uh, six star episode plate forms. So yeah, all right. So as you can tell, I've got stocked up. <laughs> I got busy <laughs> trying to get all the large episode ops. So let's unlock Kaname's brand new pirate costume. I mean, I can do both Basara and Kaname if I have leftover. But you know, oh wow, no no no, that's too many. Okay, so we use 7 large. There we go. Very painful experience right there. And one tiny one. Let's unlock Kaname's costume right now. Okay, so Kaname's costume does give me a bit of a gypsy vibe. I mean, you know, with all the jewelry on the pants and the legging, it feels like a gypsy co costume mixed with pirate. You know, it doesn't feel like, you know, your traditional kind of pirate. It feels more like a, I don't know, uh, like a hipster pirate. <laughs> okay, so. I have enough orbs to unlock Basara's costume too. So maybe let's just do a double pirate unlocking right now. There we go. Okay, we have episode plates with points as well. So let's just utilize this. Alright, let's save as much episode orbs as possible. Secret boards. Yeah, 
There we go. Alright, let's move on to the episode ops now. Here we go. Nope. Reduce. So we've got 45, so we're short of 55. There we go. So one for 50. Oh, we exceeded by five. <laughs> but that's okay. So how many? Oh, wow. There we go. But Sarah's costume unlocking. I mean, I could have waited for more episode plates though. Yeah, so a very interesting gacha episode today. We get a brand new live skill from Kaname's episode plate, and you guys get to see me unlock two costumes at one go. This never happens, <laughs> but yeah, so as usual, guys, if you want to see the special cinematics version of the costumes when being used for a live, a specific song. Um, you know, you guys know where you can watch it. Um, it's all on my YouTube Facebook page. Links in the description as always. And yeah, make sure you hit that like button on this video and my YouTube page. Uh, or rather the Facebook page. <laughs> subscribe to this channel if you have not because what are you doing? You guys need to be subscribed to keep up to date with all the videos that I've put out. Uh, and of course, ring the bell notification if you guys want to be first to be notified, you know, because you're, you're busy in life, you want to receive the email ding on your phone, and you know, if you need a break, just watch a gacha video and watch my horrendous luck take place. <laughs> As usual, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys did, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next gacha video soon. The month, the month is almost ending, it's just another 5 to 6 days, I think. How many days does this month have? Uh, oh, 31 days. Okay, so 6 days. It's the 25th for me. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!